Hey, NACC, hope everybody's doing well today, enjoying our nice weather. Uh, so today we're back with our uh, stretching routines for our uh, stretch challenge uh, members that have signed up, also for our overall membership to add into their routines. Um, so today we're gonna to be looking at two different stretches. We're gonna be looking at something for the hip flexors, as well as that lower uh, back, uh, lower lumbar region. Um, so a lot of times people think that they have uh, really tight hip flexors that the best thing to do is to stretch them. It's also very important to strengthen them since the hip flexors and hands, hamstrings work together. Uh, so we're gonna start with our hip flexor and this is gonna be more of a strengthening exercise than it is a stretching exercise. So we're going to lay on our back Bring our knees up and legs. We're gonna to try to get those legs at 90 degrees. The more you come up, the more core engagement you get, the more flat you lay, a little less. You can also add in a dumbbell, medicine ball, or something to engage the core more. So all we're gonna do here is we're going to reach as far as we can, purposely tapping the heel on the ground, pulling our toes back toward us without letting the heel slam and then come back to start. Do not start that next leg until the other one is back and set in place. And you should feel this nice tension in the hip flexors. Usually we would do 20 total, so 10 touches each side, or you can do this for a 30 second count, three to four sets. And then the next one this is one we're going to be looking at that lower lumbar region. So we're going to be laying on our side with our knees tucked up in. We're going to take that arm up and then we're just going to reach as far back as we can coming back to. So you should feel a little bit of pull on the way back in those obliques, as well as that lower lumbar back region. If you have to, and your legs keep wanting to come up, you can have someone hold your knees down to allow your body to move without the legs coming off the ground. And we would do 10 of these on this side, 10 on the other side for three to four sets. If you have any questions or concerns about any of these exercises, please feel free to reach out to myself or any of our personal trainers.